So guys, Lauren Boebert just took a humiliating legal defeat, one that tears down not only her reputation, but also one of the central arguments that she and others on the right make all the time. Because remember, their two tactics are to deny no matter what the evil ideas and actions that they take or that their supporters take. And when they can't do that or after they've done that, they seize on any small little thing done by anyone on the left and try to say that that is just as bad or worse than the things they've done. And that's exactly what she and others tried to do when Stephen Colbert staffers got arrested at the Capitol. Remember, a few weeks ago, they were arrested for trespassing at the Capitol. And immediately, all of Boebert's pals like Tucker and MTG and everyone went into overdrive and tried to compare it to the insurrection. But there's just been a massive legal defeat for Boebert as prosecutors understanding it's nowhere near comparable to J6 are not pressing charges. Listen to Fox News really sad that their scheme to try to equate these things failed. Breaking tonight, charges have been dropped against several staff members from the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. They were initially detained for trespassing. At the U.S. Capitol, Congressional Correspondent Chad Pergram has an update tonight with the very latest. Good evening, Chad. Good evening, Brett. They were charged with trespassing. Now they're not charged at all. Fox has learned that prosecutors dropped the charges against the Colbert Nine. U.S. Capitol Police busted nine members of Stephen Colbert's team after business hours shooting comedy skits in a House office building last month. They weren't supposed to be there and were kicked out earlier by Capitol Police. You can't be inside the Capitol complex without a pass or unescorted after hours. Now, Fox is told that Colbert's team tried to get press passes to cover the 1-6 committee hearings in June, but they were denied because they weren't press their entertainment. The Colbert 9 tried to cover the hearings anyway. That's when Capitol Police asked them to leave. They lacked proper credentials. But later, an aide to Massachusetts Democratic Congressman Jake Auchincloss let the Colbert 9 back in. The group was supposed to have an interview and an aide with them at all times. They did not. Capitol Police busted them taping comedy routines by the office of GOP Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert around 8.30 at night. Among those arrested, Robert Smigel. Smigel is the voice of Triumph, the insult comic dog. The U.S. attorney for D.C. says it doubts it could prove the charges because they were invited in earlier in the day. Now, Fox is told the Capitol Police are upset about this but respects the decision not to prosecute. This undercuts law enforcement as they try to secure the Capitol after the riot. Brett? So listen to that. It's almost like they're sad that these nine comedians aren't being treated like threats to democracy. Like even if technically rules were broken and you have to respect the rules at times, fundamentally, this wasn't criminal. There's no way this was criminal in a moral sense. And as noted there, I'm going to read you the reporting just to reiterate. It says one of those arrested was Robert Smigel, who voices Triumph the insult comic dog, a cigar smoking hand puppet known for vulgarly roasting his subjects. We do not believe it is probable the office would be able to obtain and sustain convictions on these charges, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia said in a statement. After reports of the arrest surfaced last month, some conservatives pretended as though the apprehensions outside Boebert's office were comparable to those arrested for violently storming the Capitol on J6 when a mob of Trump supporters breached the grounds, blah, blah, blah. And so this is humiliating for Boebert and Green and Carlson and everybody else because what they tried to do here was seize on this moment and say this is the democratic insurrection where Colbert staffers where his people go in to record some comedy sections even though yes they were allowed into a building by a staffer so likely what happened is they were confused about the rules rather than openly flaunting them and let's be real they didn't kick any doors down they didn't throw anything they didn't break any windows they were in there to film some funny moments right like that's the thing here this is humiliating for the right because, guys, all they have 
is projection. So remember this, guys. Lauren and company tried to make this a big national incident. They tried to bring the courts involved. They tried to bring the cops involved and the prosecutors involved. But fundamentally, these nine staffers, what they did maybe broke a rule, but it's not the criminality of hundreds of Trump Bobert Green linked thugs. That above all is why this is humiliating. It's really like a defeat and it's such a bad defeat, guys. It didn't even get into court. That's how big of a court defeat this was.